Welcome back for another monthly update. Uh, I tell you what, you look at today and you wonder, is it could it be winter? It feels spring-like today, but yet just over the last weekend we had snow and ice and this weekend they say we might have some more, so who knows? It's been a very cold winter, very wet winter, but hey, for that wet, that's great because it certainly has filled up all the lakes. All the rivers and streams are abound with water and flowing and, and, and it's great. So hopefully that will translate into a, uh, a nice summer where we have all the lakes full, even Lake Hartwell, and everybody can get out there and enjoy that again. Uh, also, one thing I'd say about it being so cold this year, you know, there is a benefit to that because the colder it is in the winter, the less mosquitoes you will have as you start the year because it really kills them off certainly much better in the winter uh, when you have uh, cold weather and, and a lot of freezing temperatures like we've had this year. Let's talk about the market real quick. And, and, and again, we're only a month into this, but I can tell you something right now. You see a smile on my face. We've already got four and a half million dollars worth of sales on the board for this year. Uh, if we go back to last year, I'd say we're double where we were going all the way into April. So that's certainly a good sign. Um, let's talk about houses, residential homes. There are 212 active listings right now on the market on the MLS. There are eight houses have already sold this year and we have 12 pending right now. So uh, actually we've got another one that's getting ready to show up pending here in the next week. So we will move that to 13. Uh, lots available, 426. So there still continues to be abundance of, of properties available. Uh, pending, there are five. And then closed, there are six. Now out of those pending, out of the five, we've got two. And we've also written an offer on another one that we're working on right now. So that would be three out of six if we can get this other one worked out. So we're not doing Doing so bad this year. Now, important thing on these lots, if you look at the six properties that have closed this year, only one, folks, has closed for over $300,000. So the waterfront lots that have closed have closed from $90,000 up to $319. We happen to be the company that had the one that sold for over $300 listed. Uh, out of the other five that are pending, only two are over $300,000. Again, we happen to be the company that has those two listed and are under contract and both actually, not only we were the listing company, but we're the seller company so I think that says a lot about what we're doing and the way the year's starting out now it's still too early to, to predict what's going to happen this year but like I said things are looking better we have been extremely busy um, I mean phone calls every day again mostly from sellers but we're certainly getting more um, people um, calling us about buying and in fact Matt and I were talking about when we were going over the number of hits we've had and we're up uh, what was it Matt something like 300 percent or three times the amount of last year. So 300% more hits on our websites this year than last. And again, I think a lot of that has to do with the amount of pictures we put out there, the videos, all the different locations, again, to get the positioning uh, out there on the Google searches and things like that. So this is all very important stuff. Uh, but again, I, I'm very optimistic. Hopefully the weather will get more days like this because if we have more days like this, then we can have more buyers coming into the market. But interest rates are still low, so that's still very good. Lots, it's still a, a problem because it is very difficult to get uh, loans on properties. But if you are a cash buyer right now, there's certainly a lot of great uh, offerings out there. Um, so take advantage of those right now because it could be after this year that things start getting back to normal. At least that's what we hope. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, let's talk about the cliffs for a minute. Um, as you know, Matt and I are property owners at the Cliffs Communities. And like any of the golf communities around the world, they are also running into some financial difficulties from a standpoint of finishing their amenities. You've got people coming into the cliffs and they want to buy, they see this awesome product, but you know, as they talk to the sales agents there and the development people, you know, hey, when's this going to be finished? Well, we don't know. We don't have the money in place right now because we don't have enough lot sales to fund this particular project. What the Cliffs has done, they've got some backing from a group out of Wall Street uh, to have the money to finalize all of these different amenities that they've promised. Now, uh, instead of going that route because they're looking at very high interest rates and, and if they default, then the clubs could go to, these, uh, to this Wall Street group, I would say. But uh, what they've done is they've gone to their property owners and they've put a proposal out there. Uh, they're trying to raise anywhere from 60 million to 100 million dollars. So you can enter anywhere from 50,000 up to 100,000 
$1,000. And in essence, uh, your money is tied up for about seven years, but they're offering 12% return per year. Now, if cliffs were to fall or something on that, then the clubs would go to the property owner. So a, a great scenario, I think, uh, one, for the property owners, instead of a Wall Street company on it, the property owners would actually own and retain the clubs at that point, which would certainly help values. Uh, this could be a great story because uh, I think that what I'm seeing so far is the Cliffs property owners are rallying behind uh, Jim Anthony and the product he's put out there and, and they're moving forward trying to raise money. Now there's a deadline, I think it's, uh, uh, you have to have some sort of commitment by the end of this month, but they're going to close the whole thing around March the 15th. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there, but uh, I think, you know, again, early rumblings, things look pretty good for the property owners raising that kind of money, but either way, I guess, whether it's Wall Street Street group or the property owners, the one thing we can tell you is the Cliffs community amenities will be completed and the way the schedule was set out it looked like everything would be finished around the end of 2013 and we're talking about the Wellness Center at the Springs, the Tiger Wood Golf Course, uh, all the major amenities uh, in those communities you know that go with that like the clubhouse and the wellness centers and those type of things so uh, stick with us and maybe we'll have a little more information on that next month and we can give you an update but uh, at this point maybe you know things are going pretty well over there. Um, again, if you've got any topics you would like us to, to discuss, give us a call at 800-682-9098 or go to our website, email me at mikeroach at eratopgunsrealty.com or matt, mattroach at eratopgunsrealty.com. Also folks, looking for rentals, this year, again, don't forget, we have a number of rental properties from lakefront homes. We've got cottages up near Lake Jocassee if you're looking for a place to stay up there. Um, so there's a lot of options. Go to our website, click on rentals, call Rick Miller. You can get him uh, in our office at 864-945-0370 or email Rick at rickmiller at eratopgunsrealty.com and check out our rental options because again, folks, you want to get out here and enjoy this beautiful lake and you're not ready to own yet, uh, but you want to just start spending some time, we've got the homes available to do that. So again, look forward to seeing you next month. Enjoy the day, enjoy the view, and hey, I'm ready for spring. I hope you are.